Arcade break. Damn it, Robotron 2084. I love the game. Doesn't get nearly enough credit. You know what's fantastic about Robotron 2084? Everything. Robotron was a was the brainchild of a at the time fairly young developer called Eugene Jarvis. The game was partially based on George Orwell's 1984, but in 1982 they figured things aren't going to progress that much in two years, so they bumped it up 100 years to 2084. So in this game, you're in a single room, and wow, the the, the robots have turned on humans. What a surprise! What a shock! You have two joysticks. One joystick changes which direction you're firing and then the other one actually moves yourself around so it's a really unique control system for that time. Start of the board and you're surrounded by enemies and your object was just to clear the board. There's so many enemies on the screen at once in this game that it's so frenzied and action packed that the action literally never lets up. It's very challenging. It's hard. Eugene Jarvis went on to make a, a number of arcade games and probably my favorite of his was uh, the Cruisin' series. So again, Robotron 2084, it's a great game, didn't have that much of a legacy, but back then and now it's still a great arcade game.